How you doing? Good. So, uh, Logan, you, you say you still want to be with Katie, huh? Yeah. Um, no, sorry. Um, want, want to tell her what you want to say? I came here today, Katie, to let you know I still want to be with you, that I still have love for you, that I want to make things work. If the baby comes out being mine, I want to be a father to her, and that nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody will be perfect in life. Everybody has their flaws. Everybody has their past that they mess up, and I want to be able to fix that with us, if you're willing to do that. When we were together, I wore the pants in the relationship. I had to stick up for you a lot. Um, and right now, I had to come back here to you again, so I just don't see it changing. Like, what's going to change? My actions, the past of what I messed up. I really realized what you mean to me after you left, what we had and what I missed. If we were to work things out, are your family members going to get in the way of our relationship? No, they're not. I'm not going to let them this time. Yeah. So you're kind of open to the idea of getting back with Logan. I mean, anything's always a possibility. I just, there's a lot of things that were. That you didn't I, like in yeah, the relationship. I would like to change. And yeah, obviously, you would like a lot of things uh, different. But what, I mean, you're here. What if this DNA test comes back and you're not the biological father? It is what it is. I mean. You'd still want to be with yeah, her. Yeah, I still want to be with her. And you would take on the responsibility yeah. of raising the little girl? Yeah. Okay. Hey, child. How do you, we don't know yet. Yeah. Do you have, what, what, what are your exact feelings for Logan? Because to me, I, I, I don't want to be mean, okay? Uh, but to me, it's like, you're kind of like, eh, if somebody can help me out right now, that'd be great. But it's not like you're in love with Logan. Logan's a good friend. He was there a lot. He's always been a good friend. Does that sound like a ringing endorsement of a long-term relationship? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I heard that, yeah, it would hurt, but I'd say, eh, maybe she's not for me. Yeah. All right. Well, Melvin has been raising a little girl. He's under an impression that he's the father. He even said, I don't want to take a DNA test because, you know, he's got no doubt in his mind. Let's, we're meeting Melvin, right? Let's meet Melvin. Stand up. I'm this baby's dad. It's been a 50-50 chance, bro. You no, know it. No, it's 100% yes, it... chance she's mine, homie. We'll see. Why are you so upset there? Because he's trying to take my kid, Steve. Well, How would he... you feel if someone tried to come and take your kid? Well, I'm, but I'm... the thing is, he's, he's not I'm, trying to take I'm your kid. I'm not trying to take your kid. I have a kid of my own that's okay, four months old. Okay, so worry old. about your own kid. I am, but when she said it's a 50-50 chance, okay, it's a 50-50 chance. Okay, back that she's not yours. If she's not mine, it won't be mine, right? Right, her, right, right. But Not I still see Katie. If Katie, Katie has don't let, her... Don't let my kid go over to see him. She's my little baby girl, man. She's my angel. You know what I mean? She looks exactly like me. She's got my eyes, my hair. And honestly, you both have blonde hair, just saying. Um, so it, it, would, it would hurt you very badly if this DNA test came back and said it was Logan's child. Yes, very bad. What about uh, you, Logan? You, no, and you've stated on the tape you have no doubt whatsoever, and that's why no, we all, no we, doubt. No doubt. So you didn't even want to take a DNA test? Nope. OK. Logan, you came here, and you're really hoping that you are fine. And the results of this DNA test is that, Logan, you are the father of kids. <laughs> See her again. Promise that. That's okay. my daughter, not yours, mine. So now the test is she's my daughter, so therefore I have all rights to say who can and what. Uh, I, I kind of feel bad for you. Yeah, so do I. What, 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 what would you describe what's going through you right now? Uh, it's a little hurtful, you know, but honestly, I feel like. If I didn't take care of her that year, I would probably have been in prison by now. I want to apologize for 
I want to apologize for taking that time. Just hang on. Melvin! Don't touch me. Please! Leave me alone. Stop! Leave me Stop! Alone. Move! Move, please. Melvin, come on in, but it's cold. I know it's tough. It's not an easy thing. This wouldn't be an easy thing for anybody. But you don't want at least it didn't go any on any further that you'd be getting deeper in this little girl's life, and then maybe you find out 10 years or 15 years from now, you can move on, you can meet somebody that you care about, have, your, have a child. I mean, you're, you're a young guy. You, you have your whole life to have children. I can't even imagine how you're feeling right now. And I'm, I, I, I gotta imagine it's very tough, especially when you become, you bond with the child, you come attached to the child. It's gotta be an emotional roller coaster. But, Sorry. But Katie is standing right behind you. And I don't want to, I don't even want to see her face. I just want to. I don't even want to hear your voice. And why, why is it? Because you feel like she lied to you? What, what is it? What does it hurt you so much that you want to talk to Katie? I spent almost three years of my life for nothing at all. Well, well it's not for nothing. Well, I was going to say, everything you do in your life is learning experiences, right? And you build off of it. Not everything's going to go right. Not everything went right in my life. You make mistakes, but then you move on. And, and you, you learn from it, and you realize who you want to be with, who you don't want to be with because of what you've gone through in the past. And I, I really believe Katie believed that you were the father. I don't think that she was malicious about it or trying to hurt you. I think that at one point she wanted to be with you. She wanted it to be your child. She said before the test that she wanted it to be your child. I have nothing to say to Katie. I don't want her texting me. I don't want her calling me. I don't want her talking about me. I don't want her doing nothing. You just want a clean break. I just want, I want to wish that I've never met a Katie in my whole entire life. Um, listen, you gave a lot of love to this little girl, and I'm sure she gave you a lot of love. Yeah. And again, I think uh, that's a tremendous hurt, and it's going to be tough for you to get over, but you will. And like I said, I wish you all luck that you meet somebody that, you know, you can get into a, a, a stable relationship long term, and I'm sure you'll be a great dad someday. Thank you, Steve. I, I hope you recover from this soon. Me okay. too. I know it's not going to be overnight. Come on in, Katie.